Hello everyone. Welcome back to Manual Analysis Crash Course. In my previous video, I show how to analyze the malware traffic using Wireshark. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a Yara route to identify, detect, classify and analyze the malware. Without further delay, let's get into the video. Yara. Yara is a Swiss knife for malware researchers. It is help malware and researchers to identify and classify the malware samples with the predefined rules. So Yara is actually used by these many companies. They are using a Yara rule. Uh, so there are a lot of people using the Yara rule uh, and the malware research people use to detect and classify the malwares and it will uh, help the infrastructures okay what kind of malware is getting into attacks and to analyze what type family malware it is so this will give you more idea about it well now we'll go and see how to create a yara rule so for creating a yara rule i'm just using a flare vm flare vm is a malware analysis sandbox it's come with the pre-installed malware analysis tools if you didn't watch to my how to build a malware analysis lab video i'll be giving in the link in the description please check out so that you will know how to set up a player vm so yara is pre comes with player vm in case if yara you unable to find yara root so you can go to box short shell you can, uh, if you want to install any softwares or something else in the Flare VM, you can use box.shell and uh, you can uh, use this code, taco install Yara, and uh, the package will be get installed. It. Okay. So once the package is installed, you can open a command prompt and you can type Yara 64 and see whether you are able to access it. Okay. So yara package is installed it now i can go and create it so now in my case uh, yara package is already installed uh, uh, in the flare vm i have downloaded the malware sample from uh, this website so this website gives me a malware samples and it is a, a compressed file so that uh, you you can have a safer things as well so as per malware analysis always you need to uh, uh, zip the malware samples because if suppose by if you executed by mistakenly right so that will cause you more problem and uh, always uh, open uh, any malware samples and any testings right so do it in a sandbox environment uh, that's what i recommended to use a flare vm or any sandboxes which is you are familiar to it but ensure it should be not be connected in the internet and uh, it should be completely isolated from your host machine and uh, always try to use the malware sample analysis uh, not your primary uh, machines away from your my primary machines and try to do it on it so that in case if anything is your malware due to hypervisor vulnerabilities in case any malware samples escape right still uh, uh, still the host machines will not get infected and if it is infected also the you can just format and you can go to it since you doesn't have any confidential or it is not your personal laptop so this is what my uh, i'll tell it on it okay so let quickly uh, create a yara rule so to create a yara rule uh, so this is a website to first you need to this is a syntax first you need to give the rule name what is the rule name and uh, you need to start with the string values so whatever you need to do a comparisons and all things you need to do it so you can see the strings are there so what kind of strings and those things values you need to give so what condition basically we are giving a condition what to uh, match it and those things and all and second thing is uh, we have to give a condition so this conditions will tell what if if it is if i find that in the string value condition what i need to do so using a string and this is the syntax i need to use it on it so you can uh, you can use any id one uh, you can use notepad plus and those things so let's go and quickly create a yara rule uh, for this password uh, stealer so this is yeah so rule is rule so this is a password stealer so i'll put it like a password stealer underscore malware 
and uh, just ensure it should start with this character it, it will uh, ensure the rule will not uh, the condition is you should not start with any numbers or something else so please ensure it should be in this way okay and uh, start with the double quotes okay so now we are going to uh, add a meta data meta so meta is basically tells what this rule for so uh, you can mention who, who is the author and what is this tools and those things and all. So in this one description, description, this is Yara rule to classify password stealer malware samples okay and the uh, author of this one is author of this rule is who created this is paper academy okay and uh, you can give the rule version is so this is one point zero okay and uh, let me go and create a stain so here I'm going to mention all the conditions, everything. So, okay, let me quickly go and extract this file. So the password is infected. And let me drop this file in PE Studio. Let's give some time. Uh, so that it will calculate all the things and it will give the information so it's basically calculating all the information so it will take some time uh, so it's calculated let's go to the strings value so basically this is a url it is connecting here any malware samples uh, if you are trying to just see it if they are trying to connect it and it is, seems like a password stealer so what we will do is right uh, we will create a value for it so sting dollar a equal to and let's copy this website copy the value paste dollar b Let's copy this copy the value C okay so now we have given the things so this should be a small cases i just made a mistake so this is a meta and stings okay so now we have to create a condition so the condition is what we need to say to the mission is condition so we have to write the condition so the conditions are basically r and and so if a r if this one R B, if any URL, anything URL, if you find it, so this will tell us this is what. Okay, so now we have successfully created the Yara rule. So we have to go and save this file. Save. So always you need to save this into yara extension okay so the file is tested so now what we will do is you will run this rule yara 64 so and we need to see which condition we have to see so we have to search the recursive directory okay and so we you need to use and print the string code so we going to use iphone s and iphone r 
and uh, we have to specific the Yara root. So what we will do is we will drop the Yara rule here and uh, we will drop the malware also here. Let run it. Okay, so there is a, some syntax errors. Let go back. Okay, so my bad. Uh, so this should be in a close bracket. Let me save it. And let me run it again. Okay, so I understand what is a mistake. So it, it, I, it's a condition, not S. Yes. So by mistake, I just given it. I'm so sorry for it. So let's go back and uh, let's clear it. And we will run it again. Okay, so the rule successfully ran and it's the malware sample have this file and it is detecting it. So so if you have any other malware samples you can drop it and see whether it is comes in the same family or it is designed by this guys or some other family it's a password stealer whatever you can do it so this is what we have successfully created a first rule we will see how to in case if you want to add a hexadecimal values uh, so for example uh, you can go back to let me go back to the e studio and uh, so there is a first hexa bytes are there. So basically use, you can see the byte, right? So using this bytes, we can figure out what things as well. Uh, what we will do is we will, I'll drop this file in a hexa editor. Okay. So this first value MZ is at and this is what it right so any combination if there any file have this first uh, one right so we can do it or you can use any strings or any particular unique values you can do it uh. so let me copy 4d and 5a okay so let me uh, write it here rule so i'll call it as a hexa underscore string and it should be in a this bracket it is a 4 4d and 5a okay and the condition and dollar hexa underscore string let me save this file let me run it so basically what this rule will do is see if any url is there using our condition and also add or see if there is a hex string is also there so first condition is what we are saying is any of this url is present then plus if you see the uh, hexadecimal uh, this one then immediately you can uh, figure out this is a, a map password stealer or this is a family of this group okay that's what we are trying to say this to us rule okay let me go and quickly run it okay so the string value is also friend and it is there so you can run any malware sample again and you can do this one so you can drop a malware samples and you can identify whether this is a part of a you can classify the malware samples like whether they belongs to this group or it's a password stealer or different things so you can keep creating a yara rule and you can do a malware analysis or classifications using yara rule so you can add more conditions more strings values and you can uh, go through this and you can see uh, even you can put a process or something finds or write a library so that you can keep adding it and uh, you can run the conditions you can change the values here you can change the conditions here and you can uh, ask means even you can run the malware and you can classify it so this is a started guide so you can use this one and um, I hope now you have a basic understanding how to create a Yara rule and uh, how you can um, you can create your own Yara rules and you can use it for your uh, malware classifications purpose and analysis purpose. And one more thing is uh, there are uh, 
so you can visit reverse engineering yara rules so there are already plenty of yara rules are been uh, there so you can uh, open one by and you can see what they, even you can open this one by one and you can see what kind of uh, uh, rules are how they created this will give you when you are open others yara rule you will know it okay uh, okay we can add use these conditions and this will help you it and or you can use you can download and you can use this yara rule also and you can uh, be a part of yara rule Uh, github communities and it is a project again it's a group of it security researchers over there uh, you can contribute by you creating your own yara rule and so that anyone can use it and do so things are there that's it guys i hope now you have a good understanding in creating a yara rule and purpose of using it in my next video i'll be showing how to analyze the malware sample uh, using a static method so static malware analysis so stay tuned for it if you like this video hit the like button comment if you have any questions and suggestion if you think video is useful please consider to subscribe the channel show your support by giving like comment share and subscribing follow me on social media platform thank you for all watching this video signing off now see you soon with another video thank you bye take care